North Korea's high-speed rail hopes. Kim Jong-un wants to travel fast, like a bullet. Reuters reports Pyongyang is hoping to create a high-speed rail network between its cities and across national borders. According to the news agency, a senior North Korean official told the French Senate earlier this year they'd like to cooperate with French companies to build the railway. Reuters reports when reporters visited the demolition of the Pongae-ri nuclear test site in June, the journey took them 12 hours on North Korea's current railroads. South Korea's high-speed rail could have made the journey in just two and a half hours. Reuters added that a project like this could be a potential money spinner, but that nuclear-related sanctions on business with the North could pose a challenge. Would you visit North Korea by rail? Kim Jong-un demands your attention. North Korea's military might with tensions ramping up on the Korean peninsula, perhaps it's time to assess just exactly what kind of heat Kim Jong-un is packing. According to The Telegraph, North Korea is believed to have more than a thousand missiles of varying ranges. North Korea's short and long-range missiles can strike South Korea and Japan. Washington says Pyongyang is also developing a missile that will be capable of reaching the continental United States. North Korea is estimated to have enough plutonium to build as many as six nuclear bombs. Experts say it will take North Korea up to 10 years to fit a nuclear warhead to a missile capable of reaching the U.S. North Korea is believed to be able to make most kinds of chemical weapons. South Korea says the DPRK also has biological weapons, but it is unclear if they are ready for the battlefield. Military service is mandatory in North Korea for men and women, and the army has more than a million troops. The army relies on outdated Soviet tanks. The navy has more than 70 submarines and three frigates. Most North Korean Air Force planes are outdated Chinese fighter jets, although it does have a small number of more modern Russian-built jets. The cyber warfare threat from North Korea is centered around an organization called Bureau 121, which boasts up to 6,000 hackers. Most of its attacks are targeted at South Korea. So that's the kind of hardware Kim Jong-un has at his fingertips. Let's just hope he brings an end to all this military madness before people get hurt. North Korea blew up one of its own cities by accident. North Korea fabulously blew up one of its own urban cities accidentally during a ballistic missile test last year. Last April, when Kim jong fatty shot off a Hwasong-12 intermediate-range ballistic missile, it sadly couldn't even deliver a short range. Instead, it crashed in the city of Tokchon, located about two hours from Pyongyang. The missile was launched from the Pukchang airfield, but things went haywire as it flew 24 miles to the northeast, blowing up industrial or agricultural facilities in Tokchon. In the meantime, while North Korea is busy annihilating itself, what's Orangina doing? Bragging about the size of his bigly button. Wonderful. North Korean ghost ship found on Japanese coast. Eight bodies found inside a ship on a Japanese beach this week may have been defectors fleeing North Korea. The vessel was discovered in the Sea of Japan close to Oga on the Japanese coast. The Japanese Coast Guard believes it may have come from North Korea. A 68-year-old local resident alerted Japanese authorities to the ship on Monday morning. She reportedly saw it drifting some 300 meters from shore. The Coast Guard found eight bodies inside the ship, as well as a cigarette packet bearing Hangul writing, which is the Korean alphabet. This, Japanese media reports, makes police suspect the vessel is North Korean in origin. The Japan Times reports parts of the bodies were skeletonized, suggesting that the ship was at sea for an extensive amount of time before being found. According to NHK, no fishing equipment was found on board. According to the Washington Post, around 1,000 people successfully flee the North annually. UN issues fresh sanctions on North Korea. North Korea is facing a new round of sanctions after the United Nations Security Council unanimously approved the decision on Monday. In the wake of the North Korean regime's latest and largest nuclear weapons test, September 3rd, the UN adopted a US-drafted resolution aimed at preventing the country from fueling and funding its weapons program. The resolution will restrict oil imports into the North by prohibiting the sale of natural gas and setting a 2 million barrel a year cap on petroleum products. There will be a ban on textile exports, which are North Korea's second biggest exports, earning the country nearly 760 million U.S. dollars in 2016. 
New measures will also be put into place to prohibit North Koreans from working overseas, cutting off the 500 million US dollars in revenue generated by heavily taxing 93,000 citizens sent abroad to work. The original resolution pushed for a full oil embargo and included an acid freeze and travel ban for North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. These were removed after negotiations between the US and China. How will Kim Jong-un travel to meet with Donald Trump? The location of next month's meeting is still to be decided. The Washington Post speculates that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and US President Donald Trump's meeting may take place in the Korean demilitarized zone. Switzerland, Sweden, Russia, and China were also posited, as was the US itself. But it is not clear if the North has the transportation capable of getting there. Analysts told the Post that North Korea has an old Soviet jetliner. This plane from the 1960s has a wingspan of 43 meters, is 53 meters long, and 12 meters tall. It can fly up to 5,400 miles, meaning it could reach Hawaii or the U.S. West Coast if leaving from Pyongyang. Unconfirmed reports last month put Kim in China, saying he got there via an armored green train. If true, he could also travel by rail to a European venue, via Moscow, or to a spot in Russia itself. Another way is for Kim to travel with a shorter distance Air Koryo Tupolev jet. Analysts say Kim could also borrow an aircraft from one of North Korea's neighbors or travel with South Korea or Sweden. However, the Post reports these options could be embarrassing for the North Korean leader. How do you think the meeting will happen? How to stop a North Korean missile? Let us count the ways. The U.S. and its military allies in Asia are preparing for a potential North Korean missile strike at Guam. The U.S., South Korea, and Japan have several lines of defense against North Korean missiles, including the Aegis and THAAD anti-ballistic missile defense systems. North Korea plans to launch four missiles at waters near Guam. THAAD systems in South Korea could track the missiles by radar, but would not be able to intercept them in space on their trajectory to Guam. The trajectory of the North Korean missiles may also carry them past Japanese Aegis ships in the Sea of Japan. However, U.S. Aegis ships stationed in the Western Pacific would stand a better chance of interception. The last line of defense is the THAAD missile defense system on Guam. The system has a good record in tests, but has never been tested in a real-world scenario. One other option is to allow the North Korean missiles to hit their target and fall into the sea. If Japan or the U.S. shoot the missiles down, things could escalate with North Korea. If the Allies fired and missed, however, it would send a strong signal to North Korea that U.S. and Japanese anti-missile defense systems don't work, which may embolden Kim Jong-un's regime. 